Hello, I just wanted to do a video because I've gotten quite a few questions and actually got me thinking. Um, these are all my thoughts and opinions. This is for entertainment purposes. Um, do your own research, okay? And be kind and be nice in the comments. I got a, quite a few emails about slander and other issues. There's been many jokes around and I, hey, I've been joking like crazy posting on my Twitter because there's so many videos that in the US that they're making because it's actually quite funny. But I, actually, I, I wanted to touch on something because everybody's been going on how terrible Harry and Meghan Markle interview is for the royal family. In my humble opinion, the interview that they gave is not terrible for the royal family. It's terrible for them. The reason, and, and again, people are, um, you know, there's, a, I posted a picture of, of, of a guy, of, two, of the same guy, there's two glasses, and the guy is swimming, and they're, they're half full, and in one glass, the guy is swimming, drowning, and the other one is just floating dep happily. It depends how you see things. People are seeing it the other way around, in my opinion, because it's not the royal family who comes across badly. It's Harry and Meghan Markle. Because they say so many lies from the get-go that they lose credibility. They are half portrayed themselves as liars and slanderers to the whole world. I mean, there's so many receipts of their lies. It's not even funny. And I mean, Meghan Markle's world is so shallow that her entire life revolved, that oh, it was falsely reported that she made somebody cry. I mean, is that really that deep? But the point that, that I got actually was that, was very good. It was about this lander. Um, because, and then I started thinking, you know how I am, right? I, I need to know exactly what slander is and if there are any consequences. So slander, and I have it here, is declaring or making false statements as facts, causing harm to the reputation of a person, institution, organization, or country. Uh, so, and it says that, um, and there's three very important things that slander is um, judged by. If it exposes the person or institution or organization to contempt, ridicule, or hatred, causes a person, an organization, or institution to be shunned or avoided. So, for example, if nobody wants to deal with you because, you know, because of the slander. And makes people think less of the person, organization, or institution if it has a deep economical impact. So everything that Harry and Meghan did in that interview, it's slander. I'm going to throw this out here. Uh, can you imagine, Harry said that the conversation about race was had before they got married, again contradicting his wife. Okay, fine. What if he started the conversation? What if he was having a conversation with one of his relatives thinking, oh, can you imagine if I marry this girl? I wonder what our kids are going to look like. Normal conversation. And then the conversation developed from there. So Harry should have actually kept his mouth quiet because we don't know that conversation, which is very normal. People wonder, you know, God, you know, when I started dating my, my now ex-husband, you know, he's so different than me. We were all wondering, you know. So, but what if he started the conversation? Which is a normal conversation, but what if he did? And then he went and commented later on to his wife. And the wife thought, ah, I'm going to get this. Now, if I understand correctly, during the trial, during the summary judgment, uh, or one of the reasons Meghan Markle could not present the text messages nor emails to the judge, 
about the communications between her and her friends and the five so-called witnesses. How come we have this Z-list actress that nobody knows of that's a friend of hers saying that they have all these text messages and, and emails? Another lie. My point is, and I was really, really interested in that, in spite of all the jokes and everything, is that I understand Her Majesty the Queen say, because I am going to hold the line for my queen. I am. I, I mean, this lady, even Prince uh, Prince Charles, I'm saying now, and Prince William, I will hold the line for them. Um, the slur, the slander, the lies that they said, these are provable lies because we have all the receipts. The thing about the church, that's a lie. And the, and the reason why it's a lie and it's slander, because it has effects, legal effects, because it, it affects economically, financially, and the reputation and image of the monarchy and the country. Why? Because it makes people feel like fools, that they were celebrating something that there, there was, you know, it, it, it is something. I do understand Her Majesty the Queen, saying that she will deal with things privately. Yes, of course she will. However, the slander of racism is not about the family. This is not about the family member because they don't they, they didn't just say that it was oh we had a conversation and he was mean to me. No, it's a potentially but it's the slander. Harry also said that the United Kingdom was racist. Um that is slander. The United Kingdom is a multicultural melting point of opportunities for all cultures. Um, that he is racist, that's a different story. Because he has been proven to be racist. He had to be sent to a sensitivity seminar for racists, for cultural uh, differences, given all his racist remarks. So, the royal family doesn't look bad in this in this interview it's them and we all have been doing videos i mean they have been so many proven things so why is the royal family looking bad why is this why do they make the royal family look bad it's them who look bad we have to actually twist it around because they are the ones who are publicly lying harry is a 36 millionaire complaining that his daddy's not paying his papa is not paying him his bills Megan, and, and he's going on saying that he escaped an institution as though he was a prisoner, prisoner, I think it's called, I'm sorry, my, so late, as though he's a prisoner. And yet, Megan is sitting there demanding titles, wanting her son to be part of that prison. It makes no sense. But the slander that they've done it's not about, this is not a family squabble. So I was thinking, I was wondering if there's any way that they can be sued, whether the United Kingdom or the people of the United Kingdom can sue them for slander. First, she sat there and said, well, you know, whether she Googled Prince Harry or not, that's irrelevant. But the things that she should be held accountable for is the race, because it's not something that she heard. So she had the slander thing and the libel is when a third party is, is hearsay and you repeat that as a fact and you slander somebody in the way. Um, because she doesn't know. It could have been her husband initiating the conversation and they were just having a conversation and, and the conversation developed, you know, thank God he's not a ginger, whatever. Because they have been ginger jokes made. But that's one slander because... He, he didn't accuse or he didn't say, you know, oh, no, I was just having a conversation with one of my family members or whatever. And we were wondering, you know, if we got married, what, the, what our kids were going to look like. Perfect conversation because I'm pretty sure uh, Prince William and his wife had that conversation. All people do. Um, but the slander is there, but not only to that member because they say that they left because of racism in the United Kingdom, which means that everybody in the United Kingdom is racist and they left to California, one of the most racist places. There is a lot of racism in California. So can you imagine that California is better? A known racist place 
is better than the UK. That's very bad for the reputation of the United Kingdom. Uh, two, Harry is speaking on behalf of two other people of that institution, accusing them of being prisoners as well. That is slander because that speaks badly of the institution. He wasn't speaking about the people. He's basically criticizing the monarchy, the government. Um, yeah, and the monarchy represents the institution. That is slander because you, you can't speak on behalf of somebody else just because you have that, but especially an institution that you were part of. Um, that is slander. Third slander is about the titles. That is actually and truly a lie. And they spoke about it as though it was factual. That they didn't, because make no mistake, that interview is should be used against them in a court of law because they said that because of hair of the kid's race they did not he did not get a title when it's false and harry and megan knew it so they are abusing their race card exploit to secure first of all to get away with the lies because they think that if they throw the race word around nobody's going to call them out on the lies that they're saying or the fact that they are abusing the race card um i, I mean these, these are just thoughts in my opinions but i actually am going to look into this because they should remove the titles keeping the titles should no longer be an option forget about worrying about titles for the kids they are no longer harry has not only defected the United Kingdom, he is trying to actively ruin the reputation. Not on, this is not a, a, you know, a family squabble again. He's trying to ruin the reputation of the institution and the head of state. He's trying to say, oh, my grandmother, you know, she doesn't know what she's doing. Is the queen stupid? He's trying to say, well, my grandmother is actually not the head of state. It's the people around her advisor. At the, basically, he's calling into question Her Majesty the Queen's um, character or decision making or her, her, or her aptitudes for the top job, because that's what he's saying. Oh, she doesn't know what he's, she's doing. They control her. They have her, you know, they have her this. She's also almost like a prisoner. She's a great person, but she doesn't know what she's doing. That is what he's saying, that his grandmother is incapable of making her own decisions or being the head of state of the Commonwealth and the United Kingdom. That is the ultimate message because that means that Her Majesty the Queen is a puppet. So those things are in my opinion, have serious consequences. And I think we should all ask that he be removed because he's questioning the, um, the ability of the majesty, the queen, to actually lead the country or to be our head of state when he says that she doesn't do anything. It's actually the people advising her or that she doesn't take good advice or, the, that, she, or that she does not make the best decisions. I believe that is treason. Because he's not only criticizing the employees, but that reflects very badly on the queen. And to me, that is the worst thing that he said. So I, I wish wholeheartedly that the press would stop saying that this interview is terrible for the monarchy because it's not. It's terrible for Harry and Meghan that they have slandered so publicly because you don't do that when there's so many receipts that what you're saying is a lie and when you are actually slandering an institution people and a nation while at the same time still trying to abuse a race card and blackmail people into paying your bills simply because he did not budget the security cost for his celebrity life they are trying to blackmail and and abuse their race card to keep because this is what they wanted to do which is fraud to have the titles to be considered working royals in order to get their um 
their bills paid while they were exploiting the royal titles in the U.S. making money. So all of us, all the hardworking people in the United Kingdom who are starving, losing their business, and everything else, had to work so they could have security and money additionally pay while they were exploiting the titles in the U.S. Harry has committed treason. This is not, um, he has slandered, defected, um, made, not allegations. He has given false statements. He has lied. And this is, I mean, these things, I, I mean, I've done videos of the many lies of the many lies. So this is public. He can't take it back. They can't say, oh, I have this, I have that. And now we have this D-list actress saying, oh, you'll be lucky. We're not going to name names. And, you know, she's going to have these emails. No. The royal family cannot be held hostage, nor England cannot be held hostage to Z-listers who keep lying and lying. They should be held accountable. So I ask you, is there any way that the United Kingdom or people, ordinary people of the United Kingdom, I am not from the United Kingdom. I'm part of the Commonwealth. He has not insulted the Commonwealth because, for example, in Belgium, citizens can sue on behalf of their city. But this is in Belgium, you know. So I don't know if in the United Kingdom, people can sue others on behalf of their country because what Harry did is like a former employee who left, you know, when, when you're in a certain position, when you are in, in a company, if you really hire up and you're in a position of trust, you're usually made to sign NDAs or, you know, because they confide in you a lot of stuff. He has thrown all of that away. Um, but to me, the most terrible thing that he did is when he said, oh, my grandmother, you know, it's these advisors that are giving her terrible advice. Yeah, but at the end of the day, the queen is not stupid. The queen has power of choice. She decides which advice to take based on her own criteria. So when he calls that into question, he's saying that the queen doesn't know what she's doing. Do you know where I'm going with this? So I wonder about that. I'm sorry, my, uh, it was a little bit long, this video, but it's just I just wanted uh, this but. Thank you for sending me those emails. I mean, I, I have received so much abuse online, you know, <laughs> uh, on, on, the, on, on emails and stuff after my videos. But those are excellent questions. Is there any way citizens of the UK can sue Harry and Meghan Markle for slandering the UK by calling the UK racist? Because at the moment, the United, the United Kingdom... Not, 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 not even the government, but the United Kingdom as a nation is being badly branded as racist. Um, and it has repercussions financially, diplomatically, everything, you know, so that is slander and it's based on lies and innuendos. So what do you think? Let me know what you think. Okay. And again, thank you for the donation, guys. It's been really wonderful. I, I really appreciate all your help and supporting my channel. Okay, have a good night.